spell the word Q. Q. Yes. Um, I think um, we have um, uh, Q U I L. Can you spell the word Q? Q U Q Q E U E. Oh my Jesus. Hello beautiful people. How are you all doing? It's time for Vox of Life Camera Boy TV. We pop the culture and we give it to you 100. I am your favorite girl Jemima and today I'm in the beautiful city of Lagos, Dokbemu to be precise. I'll be asking the beautiful people of Dokbemu some very few questions. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Of course, I will be right back. Have you ever told a lie before? Yes. So what's the craziest lie you've ever told to get out of a crazy situation? Wow. Ah, uh, can I remember? Please remember. <laughs> um, I told a lie. That was when I was in school. Yes. Of, um, most, mostly when I was I'm asked to get uh, maybe money for a particular fee. So I was like... I want the payment to be made earlier before that time. So I will have to tell my dad, ah, I'll be flogged, though. I'll be flogged seriously today. So my dad would like, I don't want my, dad to, uh, my daughter to be flogged. So he had to give me the money. So these are part of the lies. That's the one I can remember. Okay. Tina, have you ever told a lie before? <laughs> yes. So what's the craziest lie you ever told to get out of a crazy situation? Uh, that craziest lie you've ever told? because you wanted to get out of a particular situation uh, well, I needed um, money for someone I needed it urgent but it wasn't as severe as what I told her actually I told the person that my mom is not feeling fine whereas my mom is well and healthy <laughs> have you ever told a lie before lie yes I have. so what's the craziest lie you've ever told to get out of a crazy situation that lie you told just because you wanted to escape that particular situation. Don't lie, yo, so that you'll not tell another lie. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can remember when I was in school, then in, uh, in my institution, I paid for the project money, I paid. So I have to lie to my dad that I have not yet paid because he has not yet given me the money. So I find that means to pay. So by the time I asked him, I think the project money was, at then was 25,000 yeah. So I collected maybe 45,000 yeah. Did you lied before? Um, yes, 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 I do. Okay, so what's the craziest lie you've ever told to get out of a crazy situation? Uh, yeah, the craziest lie and the craziest situation, um, the, the time I wanted to go to work um, and the time I want to close, maybe I lied because I know that I'm going to work late. Use one crazy um, excuses to... Hey, so what's, what's that like? So what's that like you told to get out of that situation? Yeah, especially... Maybe I, I may say I'm going to bank. Have you ever told a lie before? Oh, well, we're all liars actually. So I shouldn't say no. If I say no, then I'm a liar again. Yeah. So what's the craziest lie you've ever told to get out of a crazy situation? Uh, I can't remember, but I know that I hardly actually lie. You know, sometimes um, I believe that saying the truth will actually save you so much stress. But um, sometimes you can't just, you know, you can't get away from it. But I can't remember because I hardly lie, like I said. Hey. Spell the word Q. Q. Q U E U E. Spell the word Q. 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 Ah. So you have Q U E. Q. Is it Q on the line? Yes. Yeah. On a straight line, Q on the line, yeah. Ah. Q U E. Uh, yeah. I think so. I think. Try. Yeah. Q. Q U E. <laughs> Just got out. Spell the word Q. Q. Okay. Uh, Q U. Uh. <laughs> Are you normal? Try now. There's no harm in trying. Wow. Yeah. Q U E. Something like that. <laughs> so if you're giving 20 million, 20 million naira now, and you're told never to have sex again for the rest of your life, like you won't have sex, 20 million naira or no, so which will you go for, the money or you stop having sex for 
Wow. That's a very <laughs> tough question. <laughs> well, it depends. It depends on the condition I find myself. After like all, now, like now, even as you're married now, like, yes, you're married. Like now, I'm, I want to give you 20 million. I'm telling you, you must not sleep with your husband again for the rest of your life. So what will you do? Well, I don't think I'll go for it, though. Why? 20 million. It's 20 million, I know. Except if I reach an agreement with my husband. Hey, you give your husband, like, okay, take out of the money. Like, you will not do it again. Ah, God, that would be difficult, too. I can't do it. Why? Ah, simply because I will fail along the line. Okay, like now I have 20 million I want to give to you. And I'm telling you that for me to give you this 20 million, you will not have sex again for the rest of your life. So, are you going to take the money I'm to give you now? Put it into consideration. Okay, what are you putting into consideration? The sex part or the money part? Either to accept the money okay. or not to accept the money. Now I'm asking you, which one will you go for? Well, if it is something I know, 20 million is a big, is a big money compared to this time. But sometimes... The situation around the money is bigger than the, the, the money as well. Just answer the damn question. To me, I can say it's under a defense because I may not take the money instantly. But if I consider, I'll go with the money. Okay, so you're going to choose the money and not have sex for yeah, the rest okay. of your life? Yes. You're sure? Yes. Uh -huh. If you're giving 20 million naira right now and you're told not to have sex for the rest of your life, so will you go for the money or you won't take the offer? Well, um, <laughs> is my opinion very important in this question? Yes. Okay. Like so I have 20 million now. Million to give is very important. Yes. I can choose to live um, that life. But the only thing is my religion does not accept um, celibacy. So it's a dicey this situation. No problem. God will see us. If you're giving 20 million... For you not to have sex for the rest of like I have 20 million here right now and I want to give it to you that you must not have sex again for the rest of your life. So will you take the money or you refuse the money and do? Uh, not to have sex. For the rest of your life. <laughs> Even uh, our forefather, Adam and Eve, they have sex to give birth. And God has not told me now that you are not going to have sex. It's not going to have a discussion. So nothing I... I can't take the money, so I have to also give back the works. The Bible says I have to be fruitful and multiply. So well, you can adopt if it's children. Of course you can adopt. There no. are so many you can adopt. You don't have to do to have children these days. You know, right. The world is evolving. People don't have to do anymore to have children. You're right. But if I'm looking at the stuff of Adam, he did not adopt, so he gave birth. So I'm not after the money. <laughs> Thank you so very much for being a part of today's show. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Camera Boy TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Till I come your way next time, I still remain Jemima.